already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person. We got the Ten of Wands and it's with the Eight of Wands. Now, the Ten of Wands, it can be about feeling as though you've been carrying a heavy burden. It can be about a hard place in a relationship. So, there could have been a lot of back and forth communication with this Eight of Wands showing up here. Yeah, for some of you, your person uh, was long distance from you. Because I'm just looking at the way the wands are shooting up in the air, or towards the air. And there could have been a lot of discussion and talk. Eight of Wands can be about communication. There's some important information. It's coming in fast. But I'm getting it's back and forth between you reaching out and them reaching out. Because something was really difficult about the connection. For some of you, you were waiting to hear from your person. Maybe that's why it was difficult. The connection felt difficult. Um, but for the most part, I'm just getting that there was a lot of talk, texts, phone calls. Um, the burden here with the Ten of Wands, you could have felt like you were emotionally drained by your person or the connection or just drained by the relationship the relationship started to feel difficult yeah ten of wands the card above the word pass it's it's difficult maybe it's difficult because you two are long distance for some of you i don't know what happened but it, it got difficult or it started to feel difficult but let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we've got the Nine of Cups, and it's with a chariot. Now, the Nine of Cups is beautiful. It's often known as the wish card. It can mean what you're hoping for or dreaming about. It's most likely to be yours in a brief period of time. Yeah. Now, it's with this chariot, the card that's below the word present. Um, it's possible when you get the chariot that you could be tempted to go too far, too fast. Or your person could be pressuring you in that way. So, it's not, it's a fast energy, this chariot. It is a fast energy. Um, it's very confident. And it charges forward really fast but it's a controlled type of movement because there's a plan there's direction and there's hopes and dreams involved so this is telling me that your person um they see you uh, um pisces like um you're their wish come true you're someone that they've always wished for um, and they could be trying to get you to do something really fast. They could be pressuring you that way. And that could be why the Ten of Wands is showing up for the two of you in the recent past. Because they want to do things like right now. Hurry up. Right away. Go, go, go. And it kind of sucks the life out of you. And it looks like they still could be in that same speed mode. They're going to be rushing you to do something. And it drains you. Yeah, you could barely pick up the leaf that's on the, the ground. The person can suck the life out of you by wanting to put everything in high speed. Do, do it. Let's do it now. No, they can't wait till tomorrow. Right now. 
whatever it is, they've got um, deep emotions for you. They feel blessed and satisfied to have you, Pisces. They've got very strong desire for you. So, that's probably why they're in a rush. But it's draining you. Now, move on over and take a look and see what the challenge is. So we got the Two of Swords, and so the Knight of Cups. Now, the Two of Swords is showing that you might decide to avoid and block this person. Yeah, because I don't even know if you've recovered from this recent past energy of feeling like the connection is difficult. I don't know if you recovered. She looks like she's all wrapped up in white. She's got a blindfold on, the two of swords, the card above the word challenge. Yeah, you want to, for some of you, you just want to block the communication, block their visits. Lock and avoid. That's what the Two of Swords is. But here they come. Yeah, Knight of Cups. They come um, being optimistic and rushing towards you, being romantic and sensitive. So, Pisces, you got someone that really wants to be with you. But you got the Two Swords up. You're ready to avoid this person. So, the outcome, Page of Swords. With the Five of Swords. Now, the Page of Swords can be an immature type of energy. Page of Swords will bring some mild conflict. The Page of Swords can be the type that will stalk you, watch you, and keep tabs on you. And the Five of Swords is a little similar. It's, just, it's about conflict. The Five of Swords below the word out. The card that's below the word outcome. So... Your person could um, start feel. Your person might start feeling some kind of way about you blocking them, or just not answering their calls or returning their texts. So they they're watching you, Pisces. Page of Swords will watch you and keep tabs on you. They'll stalk you just to see what you're doing. And what's the reason that you can't call me back? So there could be a fight coming up. Some big disagreement, some big argument. Because you got two conflict cards here for the outcome. Page of Swords and Five of Swords. So Pisces, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified. When I post my next reading, I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you. How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over... Oh, I already said that. There's also a link below for personal readings. That's what I'm trying to say. A link for personal readings, if you'd like to try one of those. So, Pisces, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So, stay strong. I hope you come back and join me for the next Pisces reading, just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. Meaning you could be your person or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend. Yeah, could be a family member, a co-worker, or maybe even a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Pisces, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.